Cricket, the gentleman's game. Depending on who you ask, it's either the greatest game to have ever been invented, or some boring thing English people do with too many numbers. However, it isn't actually that difficult to learn the rules. I started writing this script without knowing a single thing and picked it up quite easily. We'll go by Test Cricket, the most widely popular and oldest form of the game. First and foremost, two teams, 11 players, one reserve, large oval shaped field, you're already 50% of the way there. The umpire, or referee, flips a coin, and the captain of each team must pick heads or tails. The one who guesses correctly gets to choose whether they bat or field. So, two batsmen stand opposite in front of these things called wickets. The bowler does this fancy move and throws the ball at said wickets. It's the batsman's job to hit the ball away. If it hits the wicket, the batsman is out and must be replaced by any of the remaining 10 teammates. Side note, this manoeuvre is technically impossible for the human body to naturally do, and many cricket bowlers have back problems later in life because of it. With the ball battered away, the two batsmen run back and forth between the wickets, and each time they do this, they score a run. If they hit the ball out of the field, they immediately score the maximum 6 runs and don't need to do any actual running. Meanwhile, the opposing team of fielders attempt to catch the ball. If they catch the ball before it hits the ground, the batsman is immediately out. Otherwise, the fielders must scramble to throw the ball back to the wickets. If they can throw the ball at the wickets and make this thing on the top fall off before the batsman can finish a run, well then the batsman is out, off to the dugout replaced with another teammate. Every six bowls, the bowler switches the side he bowls from. That's called an over. Repeat this process until all the batsmen are out. That's called one inning. Then switch sides and repeat with the opposite team batting and the first team fielding. At the end of that inning, the team with the most runs is the winner. And that's it. Not so hard, is it? If impoverished Indian street kids can understand, then I'm sure you can as well. In American terms, it's like baseball, but there are six bases instead of three, and batters keep going around until they get out. Cricket is insanely popular in places like India, Pakistan and Bangladesh, where it's bigger than any other sport. More people watch the Cricket World Cup Final than the Football World Cup Final because so many Indians and Pakistanis tuned in to watch. Outside of the UK and the Indian subcontinent, cricket is also enjoyed by Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and the Caribbean. But the game knows no class and indeed no frontier. In the West Indies, Australia, New Zealand, India, under the shadow of Table Mountain, developing the same qualities in men, regardless of background, colour or creed. In places like Australia and South Asia, it took off as there isn't anyone in the area good enough at football to play against, but there are good cricket teams. At the end of the day though, cricket is a cultural thing and it's probably too late to try and spread it further than where it's already popular. But if you're not a citizen of the Commonwealth and you find yourself watching a game of cricket, at least now you'll know what these weird men in woolly jumpers are doing with three sticks and a ball. For when I'm at the crease, it'll be a dog. I'll keep bearing my arms straight on never chalk. You'll be out first ball in a hurry. And when I'm with the bat, dear boy, I'm batting straight out for sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Going for the foot swing. Yes. Very fine left over for two for three.